Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by here today. My name is Jane and on this channel I do DIYs, craft and Cricut projects. I'm hoping to share one or two ideas or maybe inspire someone out there. So in the meantime, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and let's get into our video of the day. So for today's video, we are going to be making a tote bag using infusible ink. I have used infusible ink before but i've done that for a coaster so today i'm going to be trying out the tote bag and this is my first time doing it so it may i have the tote bag right here i also have my cricut maker i have my mat my cat stuff and of course the infusible ink right here so let's get started i'm going to go to design space and i already made my design and i'm going to make it so my design is ready as you can see the speech vibes I'm doing and I'm going to just click make it and get ready to cut it on my maker make it I'm going to turn the mirror on and then I'll click continue Right as trying to connect to my machine, I'm going to put my sheet on the mat. I really don't want to use the dark one, so I'll just take um, maybe the middle one. I'm going to place my sheet on the mat with the you know colored side of the ink facing up. So I'll cut the side off. So I'll go ahead and load this and then cut it. So the machine is done cutting and I've unloaded my mat. Um, as you can see, this part came off. I don't know, hopefully you can see it. And that's because my mat is losing its stickiness, so it bent a bit. But apart from that, I think every other thing cuts smoothly. Before I start, I'm going to weed it now, but before I start, I'll turn on my easy press. I'm going to turn it at 385 for 40 seconds. So I'll let that heat while I'm weeding. I think what I'll do is cut off the SS first. Okay. So to weed, I will take out the parts that I don't need. And what I can do is just bend it. When you bend it, you see that 
most parts that are coming out. So, as you can see, I bent it and I can peel it up already. And so, I'll just do the same thing for every other part. Just bend it a bit to get the excess up. So now we are done weeding and I'm going to press it onto my tote bag. The machine is ready and so I will just prep the tote bag. So I'm going to use my lint roller to get off any excess dust or dirt that might be on the tote bag. So I have my heat press mat right here. So I'll take my clean roller to clean it. So I'm done cleaning. I'm going to preheat the tote bag. It takes all the moisture out. So I'll put my cast stock in my bag um, to stop the heat from transferring to the other part of the bag. So I'll put it in between. Then I'll take my design, turn it upside down because when you look this way, we mirrored it. And so you see, oops, almost missed this. We mirrored it and if you can see it doesn't look right this way but when I turn it you can see that everything is clear pitch pipes I'm just eyeballing it because I think this is middle and it's fine here yeah? so I'll put it right here I'll also get my butcher paper and put on top of the design Then I'm going to take my heat press and put it right on the design steadily and then turn it on so that it goes for 40 seconds. Once it's done, I'm just going to raise it up firmly and put it back. I'll leave it to cool a bit before peeling it off. I'm just going to remove the butcher paper and then you can see it's already rising. And I'll just peel it.
Hmm. It's up. If you can see, you see how color this was? All the ink has transferred onto the tote bag. Look at it. It looks beautiful. So see what it was before I put it on the tote bag? Before I transferred the ink onto the tote bag, this is how it looked. Like this. And right now, this is the color, yeah. Everything has gone into tote bag. It looks very vibrant and bright. And even though there's a bit of smudge, yeah, everything looks great. When it comes to taking care of um, this bag with infusible ink, make sure to use cold water while washing it and turn it inside out. No fabric softener and no tumble drying. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I hope to see you guys in my next video. In the meantime, stay blessed, bye.